So second release, very exciting release. Not exciting only because this coffee is a flavor explosion, but exciting because it has very personal story, for me very amazing story and some of the beautiful memories. And this is what I wanted to do with this release, bring these memories back and share them with you. So this coffee is from Ethiopia, it comes from the Messina village and this is the home of our very first carbonic maceration process in Ethiopia. This coffee is also home of um, Agnieszka's coffee that he, she used when she won World Barista Championships in 2018. Uh, and I still remember that coffee as, you know, flawless balance, uh, this beautiful Ethiopian nose that we all love with florals and citrus notes, with harmonious creaminess and long aftertaste. But I also wanted to make uh, it a little bit more interesting because in the same year I've coached John Gordon and I've tasted one of the most distinct flavors possibly in my life. Um, he managed to roast this coffee to you know, perfection as well as extract it and bring out this beautiful kiwi fruit and passion fruit that I found very unique and, um, and very sort of refreshing. Now, what we've done with the process is we've done carbonic maceration process, natural process, where we've extended the contact time of the cherry and we played with so many different variables to give you the coffee that's really complex without tannins and bitter compounds, etc. Most importantly, what's amazing about this coffee is that you can choose your own direction. What do you want it to be? Uh, I found a lot of orange notes here, a lot of red notes, as I mentioned, a lot of purple notes, even chocolatey cacao nib notes. And um, I'm going to guide you through what I believe makes is the best expression out of the coffee. And that's not only because of the taste, but because it brings the memories of 2018 Amsterdam. And I would love to share these memories with you. So I'm also going to show you a few directions that you can actually see and express different flavors out of it. This is going to be fun. It's going to be flavor explosion. And I'm looking forward to dialing this matrix with you together. Thank you. Right, so the very first coffee that we've made, um, which is 19.5 extraction, 20, 39.6 out. This one, as I thought, has a lot of um, citrus notes. Um, orange, it's a it's little bit underdeveloped. It's a little bit on sour note. Um, more, quite a bit of tannins, more like Earl Grey tannins. So we, we found that this, these flavors are not as sweet enough for espresso. So possibly too fast extraction for this particular coffee. Now second coffee, which is a same in, same out, but 23 seconds, we're starting to see more depth of the flavors and some really exciting flavors. What I love about this one, we're somewhere in the middle, so we managed to make this orange nose a lot more sweeter, more rounder. Um, quite a bit of mandarin coming through, but really sweet mandarin, almost marmalade-like. Um, what's most exciting is the kiwi fruit. I found this kiwi fruit really exciting, very, very refreshing, very round. Um, and um, so for me, these notes are very orange, few, few red notes as well. Definitely no signs of under extraction or tannins um, or maybe unripe fruits. And also I feel like we're not going to this territory where we can possibly have these bitter compounds and bitter fruits that we can sometimes find in a Jasper. Um, the last coffee, which is 26 second extraction, we're starting to enter here into more purple fruits. Um, it's still very nice coffee and it's probably going to be um, how you would like to drink it as well. And that's beauty with this coffee because it gives you flexibility. There's no one perfect recipe. Um, I personally am going to sit on 23 seconds because I find this kiwi fruit exciting today. However, if you wish to have a coffee that gives you a bit more blueberry notes, a bit more raisins, uh, darker characters, this nice high quality chocolate, about 26 seconds is fine. 
Uh, possibly if you have a very similar setup of water like we do and if you're extracting 28, 29, 30 seconds uh, coffee possibly might go in too many bitter compounds and uh, it might not finish as clean. So to keep it safe, 23 to 23, uh, 6 seconds we're going to be at but the next step is going to see how we're going to build a tactile balance and how does this coffee feel on the palate. Just a quick summary, we found this very first coffee with 19 second extraction. Uh, sweetness is very low, acidity is very high, coffee is really bitter. Uh, flavors, citrus, but very underdeveloped citrus. Uh, maybe skin of the citrus as well. Uh, and also finishes dry, sour, tannic, and, uh, and texture is thin. So this, this coffee needs obviously a lot of work and it's definitely not the right direction to run coffee as fast as it is. Uh, with this bottom two coffees, I think we have a two very interesting directions. Uh, how, what is b positive about both of them and also what else we need to do to improve it. So we can discuss both of them together. So the second coffee, which is my favorite, 23 second shot. Uh, taste balance is uh, not ideal yet. We still find the bitterness is a little bit on high notes, so we need to fix this. Uh, flavors, um, they're not very dominant, but they are here. They, they're kind of a little bit hidden uh, underneath of the sweetness of the cup. Flavors, definitely mandarin, kiwi fruit, um, hint of red. We can taste, especially when coffee cools down and we would love to see that red note a little bit more developed. After all, we call this coffee Jasper for these beautiful red notes and we don't have them as dominant yet. And, uh, and we also need to do some work on the aftertaste because we find coffee a little bit drying and this special fruit seed is a little bit dominant. So um, the way we would be looking at approaching this coffee is uh, I'd be looking at dropping the dough slightly and possibly running the shot a little bit longer to open up this acidity uh, and to have higher quality of acid and a little bit more rounder as well as uh, open, uh, opening up the coffee so we can see these red fruits and hopefully this kiwi fruit being more dominant too. Now with the bottom coffee here, which is a 26 second shot, uh, as we possibly predicted with a lot more extraction, we managed to put this extraction to give us a lot more purple notes. So purple grapes, blueberries, uh, raisin, chocolate. When coffee starts cooling down, that this sort of chocolates, especially in the aftertaste, are turning more into like salted caramel chocolate. So salt starts to dominate and uh, quite a bit of nibbiness, a bit of uh, bitter compounds are, are getting more and more um, actually pronounced. Now in order to have this coffee to give us all of these fruits that we like about the coffee but possibly reduce the extraction, I would look at bringing the dose up. And by bringing the dose up, we'll extract less out of the coffee. And by extracting less out of the coffee, we'll most likely be able to reduce these salt and bitter compounds. And uh, this coffee will, once it's finalized or fixed, will give us a full expression of tactile. For some people, maybe too much, but it definitely would promise really sweet coffee, a lot of raisins, a lot of blueberries, jammy notes, and a um, and lot, of, lot of sweetness. Also, the quality of acidity not necessarily will be high, but intensity of acidity will be low. For so those of you that love super sweet coffee, really rich coffee with low acidity, you possibly want to go this direction. 20.5 in, um, about 41 grams out in about 26 to 27 seconds is what we would recommend. And if you start reducing the bitterness, uh, maybe uh, look at bringing the dose up uh, again and see if you're going in a positive direction or not. Now the coffee that is my favorite, uh, what we'll do now is we're going to run a few different recipes with uh, different doses and find the optimum balance of the flavor and the tactile as well. Maybe another gram, longer, gram and a half. But it's got this nice combination of reds in there as well. Like beautiful fresh cherries. Kiwi is there. Mm -hmm. um, that orange, it's not marmalade any orange. Uh, it's not kind of mandarin, it's more like orange. Note, hint of, um, what's that? Uh, like or orange blossom tingo towards the end. Like really nice sort of florals, bitterness at the end. But like not too, like just enough to kind of lift up the tactile balance. It's so perfect. Yeah, yeah. it's very 
Aromatic. Yeah, it's kind of a bit of Fagus Pro combo of Faga and John. <laughs> yeah. But it's nice, texture, nice weight. It's better in this cup, eh? Mm -hmm. Alright, so conclusion. So we're gonna go. <laughs> Alright, so 19 grams in. Uh, we found this coffee did not have enough body. Uh, it was a little bit thin, uh, silky, nice, but um, not enough complexity in the cup. Definitely cleaner cup, uh, but it's really short. We also found the flavors were very citric like, mandarin, uh, lime, a bit of grapefruit this time, and intensity of kiwi fruit has definitely dropped. So, even though it was fairly balanced coffee, we have reduced the intensity and the quality of the flavors. So, we, we don't think it's a good direction to continue going to as low as 19 or below. 19.5, um, where we feel that we can comfortably lock in this dose because we're very happy how flavors are interacting with the tactile balance and we also managed to taste some new exciting flavors that we were a little bit hidden in the previous recipe. Uh, kiwi fruit is uh, dominant, more sweeter than before. This mandarin uh, from before has actually now turned into blood orange. Uh, we have a lot of uh, red cherries and uh, what I'm really excited is we managed to find this beautiful um, kind of blossom, orange blossom, bergamot to the finish. Uh, it's a big tribute to Ethiopian coffees, they're very floral um, and they're washed and I'm so happy that we managed to find this note in a Jasper profile. So we've definitely are in a really really good direction with this recipe. Something that's not ideal just yet is the, um, the acidity. It's got beautiful quality acidity of passion fruit, really tropical, but we sort of tasting a bit of sourness in that passion fruit. Uh, so our next approach is to lock in the time, which is 23 seconds, uh, lock in the dose, 19.5, and also just the extend the extraction from 38, 39 grams to 40 to 41 grams. We're also going to look at using a different cup. And uh, cup, uh, I normally find cups with this shape, they're great for the coffees to celebrate taste balance and tactile balance, that beautiful heaviness. But because here with this particular process we want to celebrate uh, Jasper, which is all of these amazing flavors, as well as uh, we want to celebrate the Terra and Ethiopian like floral coffees. And I found that cup with this vessel, um, sorry, cups in this shape, they'll help us to open up these flavors and uh, make them very dominant and very pronounced. So I also, you can look at the couple options whether you want to serve the warm cup, cooler cup. Cooler cup will allow these flavors to open up a little bit more, but balance possibly can be a little bit disturbed and maybe acidity can be a little bit too high, but it's something for you to experiment and have fun with. So we're gonna make a final coffee now. So final conclusion about Matrix, final recipe is 19.5, 40 grams out and 23 seconds. We found with this particular coffee, we managed to get best harmonious balance. Uh, we will still have slightly higher acidity in a, in a cup. So when we tasting these notes, there's quite a bit of brown sugar, quite a bit of cherry on the sweetness. Acidity is very tropical like, reminds me of passion fruit. It will be a little bit more intense. As it cools down, that intensity of acidity will grow more and more. So this coffee is unlike the very first one you've tasted. It's to be enjoyed in the first couple sips, within 32 seconds to one minute. And as it cools longer and longer, that acidity will be more pronounced. So I would advise you to enjoy it fast. <laughs> and uh, secondly, uh, what I'm really excited with this particular recipe is that we managed to bring a lot of red fruits, uh, jasper notes that we have made in a, during the process. Uh, we also managed to bring quite a bit of uh, kiwi fruit, orange, orange is very sweet, blood orange like. And the, for me, favorite part is possibly um, aftertaste. Tactile is nice and silky and smooth and creamy, um, but aftertaste is very floral, very long and uh, quite a bit of bergamot. I personally love combination of this florality as long as the tannins and florals do not dominate or in a cup and I found that we have the right amount of sweetness in the tactile 
and the finish as well and also right amount of florality to just really bring out this beautiful notes that we always love about Ethiopian coffees and held on varietals. So what we wanted to do with this lot which is uh, Ethiopian Jasper we wanted to create a fusion of best attributes of Agas coffee which is that beautiful florality, flawless balance um, these flavors that we always taste in Ethiopia, this you know, lovely orange notes, marmalade, creaminess, uh, bergamot flavors infused with unbelievable notes that we've tasted in John's Espresso, uh, which is a kiwi fruit and a passion fruit. So the process is called carbonic maceration, natural process, and uh, we've targeted the compounds that will give us this flavor explosion but we also wanted to make sure that we have a very clean espresso. Uh, finally, after quite a few years, we managed to make coffee that is flavor explosion. 